So yeah, what is up guys, Ghost here, and today, got you guys a video using and going over what my favorite assault rifles are in every single Call of Duty. So comment down below, what's your guys' all-time favorite assault rifle, or you can even make your list down below in the comment section from each individual COD with your favorite AR. If you guys want more of this series, let me know down below in the comment section any recommendations where I can play every Call of Duty and do, you know, something kind of crazy or something special with it. And also, check out this entire playlist of my In Every COD series where I play every Call of Duty for sure, and also subscribe and like the video if you do so happen to enjoy. Let's go ahead and get right into it. My favorite assault rifle in this game is the Lynx CQ300, which is basically the Honey Badger. Pretty much has the same animation as the Honey Badger, and it's a pretty cool weapon here in, in this game. But sadly, you have to pretty much open supply drops to pretty much get this uh, weapon here. But, uh, hold on. There we go. Got him. Has good range and damage. Just like every other supply drop weapon in this game, pretty much. So, yeah, it's, it's a pretty cool weapon. I definitely want this gun to come back in Modern Warfare 2. Hopefully it does. I have faith and confidence that it will, because it's one of those guns that we kind of rarely see in Call of Duty nowadays. So, oh, that's the guy's head. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. Uh, but that's going to be pretty much everything with my favorite AR. Starting the video off with uh, COD 4. So let's move on to the next game. Uh, what is going on here? Anyways, this lobby is completely dead though, and I'm missing my shots. There's only two enemies on the other team, which does suck, as you see right there. So I don't even know how I'm supposed to get kills with this thing. I'm not even joking, there's literally only a hundred people online in this game, <laughs> which is so sad. Is that a person up there? That is a person, and they have god mode or something. There's no way they're eating my bullets like that. But yeah, STG-44 for sure is a very good assault rifle. It's my favorite one in this game. I mean, there's really not much to choose from, to be honest. So, <laughs> yeah, this is just your basic all-around um, AR in this game, you know? Teammate, what are you doing? Honestly, there's really no point to keep going with World Out War because this game is just really dead, so... Alright, next Call of Duty then, I guess. So here in MW2, this is my favorite assault rifle, the AK-47. And this is also my favorite AK-47 as well. Bruh. I'm not surprised people are still doing that. And there's a sentry gun all the way on top of there. Oh, gosh. But yeah, this is a very, very smooth weapon, and I just love uh, the eye. I love the iron sights of this AK-47. They're very, very clean, and... Uh, there's something about this AK just for sure hits different for me, and the noob tuber is inside of here. Hold up, let's go ahead and kill him right now. He's right here in the corner. Dude, I swear, if he somehow kill- I- okay, that was purely on me, but that guy is so annoying. This game does have a lot of fantastic assault rifles. Like, I could have easily chose the ACR being my favorite, but honestly, I just think I have uh, more fun using the good old AK-47 right here. So yeah, that's gonna be pretty much it for uh, Modern Warfare 2's uh, my favorite gun in MW2. And I can't wait to stop playing this game because of the damn explosives. Back there in Black Ops is Prime, my favorite assault rifle was the AUG here. I used to love using this a lot, and still today, I think that this is one of the most satisfying ARs, and pretty underrated, definitely. But like, I, lo I like the way this um, SM no, SMG, <laughs> this assault rifle sounds, it has a very satisfying sound to it with the reload, the way like it just fires, it just handles very good. It handles like, like an SMG, to be honest. I think someone's coming up. Yep, not surprised. Got my spy plane, though. Oh my god, am I getting shot out from... Does he have a death machine? Oh no, I just got, I just outgunned a death machine right there somehow. But yeah, this gun three shots with a fast fire rate. It's crazy. It's kind of like the AUG. I mean, kind of like the FAMAS, I meant to say. The FAMAS is also incredibly good too, but I like the AUG a little bit better sometimes. But yeah, that's gonna wrap up Black Ops 1 and my favorite assault rifle. So this ACR is just like everyone's uh, favorite AR in this game is my favorite assault rifle in, in MW3 because obviously it's so overpowered, it's so good and nothing is literally wrong with it other than it's just annoying to go up against it, it's just uh, too good. All the sweats use it, everyone runs that silencer and that gold camo on it. It's the go-to MOAB weapon here in MW3, kind of like how 
Uh, the honey badger is like the go-to gun for ghosts. Yeah, this is the go-to weapon here. It's just too easy, man. And honestly, I feel like this is better than the ACR from Modern Warfare 2. Uh, what do you guys think? Is Do you guys like the ACR and, and MW2 better? Oh, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm done with Oh, uh, what? What? Oh, I thought he's the one that died. Okay. I'm running out of shots. Are you serious? Come on, man. Alright, this guy needs to die over here. Anyone else back here? I don't know. Okay, as you can tell, I got a specialist bonus like really, really fast without even trying. Oh, they all spawned down here, guys. I gotta watch out for the entire. That is actually so stupid, man. Anyways, that's gonna wrap it up for Model Warfare 3. Died like on a, what, 10, 14 kill streak or something like that. The Scarlet Cheer in BO2 is not only my. F oh, great. I. I hate bouncing biddies. Where am I getting shot from? What the heck, dude? Okay, this this lobby I can tell is really so damn annoying. But anyways, yeah, this is not only my favorite AR in the game. It's my favorite gun of all time in, in Call of Duty. This and um, the Honey Badger as well. Like, there's a lot of weapons in COD. Like maybe it's three guns: MP7, MW3, uh, Scar H, Black Ops 2, and Honey Badger and Ghost that are definitely my my top favorites. And I can't find anyone to. Kill. There we go. Yeah, I just have to play this lobby so differently because these dudes are really annoying. There's a guy literally camping on top of here, and he probably <gasps> told you. What is this, guys? Do you? Oh, I'm not even gonna bother to complain. You can form an opinion yourself instead of me forming a complaining opinion. But uh, anyways. This gun is incredibly powerful. It has a great freaking damage and has amazing iron sights. That's that's really one of the reasons why I love this gun to death. Is he can't he's camping on top. Well, hopefully there's no claymore anywhere. Okay, dude, I'm just gonna rage quit. I don't this okay. But yeah, there's the Scar H and Black Ops 2, my favorite AR. This Honey Badger is one of a kind for sure. Uh, that's why it's my favorite gun in COD Go. And one of my favorite guns of all time. It has that integrated suppressor on it, which is really, really nice. It doesn't even affect the range all that badly. Is there someone back here camping? Is he on top of here? Dude, who does this? Look at this, guys. Look, look at this. He's not even going to notice me at all. <sighs> Man, people these days. Look at this. Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to kill him like that. That's so annoying. And this guy's down. Okay, that was kind of difficult. Oh, on top, right there. Oh, my teammate is getting shot at from across the entire map. Is there someone back here? Oh, <gasps> dude! What? You see what I'm talking about? Every... <sighs> this game, man. Oh, oh, oh. How much y'all want to bet there's an IED up here and someone's waiting for me? Let's see. Oh, oh! That's an IMS. Well, guys, that's gonna wrap it up with uh, COD Ghost as Honey Badger and um, the monkey in the tree with the chainsaw. So my favorite assault rifle in this game is this HBR3 Insanity. I was going for this weapon for literally years and I never got it until last year, finally. It took hundreds of just, wow, okay, hundreds of supply drops. And uh, even after hundreds of drops, I still never freaking got it, man. But I got it luckily on one stream, I think uh, about a year ago probably, and I was so, so happy because this gun has incredible stats. It has that plus two in the fire rate and plus one in the damage. And it, because of all that, it just will literally destroy anyone anyone that you see incredibly fast, just like that. It's such a beautiful gun, man. It's gold and red by default, which is such a, a great color too. It's like an SMG up close. It shoots that fast. And every time you burst it, it shoots faster too. The first three shots of every uh, magazine uh, bursts as fast as the rest of the entire gun, which is really good too. So, so it's like the A94, how you could pretty much get that bonus fire rate every time you shoot it, man. So yeah, that's pretty much it. What the lag? Okay, dude. Yeah, that's gonna be it for Advanced Warfare's Insanity. I'm not sure how this guy has a blue name and um, <laughs> a white for Siege Icon, but regardless of that, we got the KN44 here, which is my favorite assault rifle. It's the first AR 
that you do unlock and use in the game and I know it's the first one but still it's it's actually a really good starter AR it always has been amazing and even since the beta too which in the beta if you guys remember it was called the arc 7 and they had to change it for whatever reason I don't even know why but I could have chose like every other DLC AR to be my favorite like the peacekeeper or the AN 94 but honestly, I've always had like a good love for this AR. It's always been really smooth, especially with that suppressor too. Very consistent, three shot kill, and uh, very freaking nice, honestly. Anyways, let's go ahead and get this guy and his teammate is inside of here. If he doesn't kill me, bruh, there's two people up here camping or what? Oh, teammate got a, I don't understand how he has a blue name. <laughs> what gun is that? I think that's that's the FAMAS, yeah. I don't know why he's just standing there for. Anyways, that should be it. I don't know why this enemy is standing there too, but yeah, let's just go to the next COD now. Here in Infinite Warfare, my favorite assault rifle is this uh, Iraqi right here, which is a three round burst assault rifle, and it's super, super good. Especially with this setup, uh, this setup that I have right here, Elo Sight, Quick Draw, Suppressor, with this nuke variance of the R3K. Yeah, man, it just destroys and has great damage. It can a one burst at a pretty good range, and it's just a very consistent overall assault rifle, for me at least. It's incredibly easy just to pick up and use, and honestly, I can get easy, easy nukes with this all the time. Oh my god, that's, that's a black hole. What did I do? Oh my gosh, die from behind but by my own weapon. But yeah guys, that's gonna be pretty much it for Infinite Warfare. Pretty uh, simple here with this three round burst overpowered gun. My favorite assault rifle in this game is the Volk Storm Gewehr, which uh, is a really nice one. This also did get nerfed. Wait, did they have, they have pair, dude. I just spawn in to paratroopers and the game is literally only 10 points in to this domination. Like what the heck? Ah oh, man, that is just my freaking luck, I guess. This is a really good DLC assault rifle. Uh, I feel like this is definitely underrated and people don't really use it anymore because it got nerfed. But I still use it regardless of uh, the nerf too. I think it's really freaking good. Especially this variant right here, which is, I think this is the epic variant. The only thing it really lacks is just the range, honestly. And maybe sometimes the recoil. This lobby is just so trash. I don't know. Oh my gosh, man. Honestly, that's just gonna be it for War 2. I can't stand this lobby. But my favorite thing about this weapon is the iron sights. The, the iron sights are literally the cleanest thing ever. They're so nice. Look at that. Just completely melted that dude from across the map. And this guy too. Okay, I okay. He has an LMG. Granted, the thermal LMG. But this gun, this gun with diamond camo is just a beautiful. Right, time to re-push these guys both down. Oh, I'm dead. But yeah, that's gonna be pretty much it for the rampart here in Black Ops 4. This is uh, for sure one of the best scars ever in a Call of Duty game. In Modern Warfare guys, my favorite AR in this game is the AN-94. I feel like no one just gives this uh, a chance and just thinks this AR is bad right off the rip, but nah, it's actually extremely powerful, especially if you just burst it, because uh, every time you uh, pull the trigger, the first two shots shoot faster than the rest of the entire magazine. So you could just continuously burst it like that, and then it'll kill actually very, very quickly. So that's why I like this gun a lot, it's just like the, the Black Ops 2 one um, in that sense. I, I used to do that a lot with the, the BO2 A94 as well. See what I mean? Look at that. It melts pretty quickly honestly if you, if you just use the gun right. It'll be actually very very good. That's why I like it a lot man. Hopefully it uh, comes back in uh, Modern Warfare 2 uh, but it's like a lot better. But anyways, that's gonna be pretty much it for the good old AN-94 here in Modern Warfare. Over here in Black Ops Cold War, we do have this EM-2 Assault Rifle. I feel like this is one of the most consistent weapons in this game, damage-wise. It's mainly, I think, like a four-shot kill, and it just feels it feels pretty smooth compared to the other ARs in this game. It has like little to no recoil, and it just never disappoints me at all whatsoever at any range. Even the scope that it has on it, I actually don't mind it. I just typically run this gun 
with this scope because I think it's I think it's pretty nice. I've gotten I think one of my very few uh, nukes in this game with this weapon because it's just that good, at least for me. So yeah, I just I think this this gun is better than half of the base weapons in this entire game. But yeah guys, that's gonna wrap it up for Black Ops Cold War right now. This Cooper Carbine and Vanguard is my favorite AR in this game. I feel like this one is, is just top tier. It's very mobile, it doesn't even feel like an assault rifle. It honestly feels like an SMG with how it just how it moves around and with the, the damage and range. It's, it's like the damage and range of an AR, but like the, like the whole entire speed of an SMG uh, to me at least. So that's why I like it a lot and I do pretty good with it. I haven't used it in a while. The last time I used it was when the game first came out. I mean, sorry, when when the, this gun first came out because this is a, a DLC weapon. But yeah, it, it still is as good as I remember. I don't know if they've nerfed it or if they've buffed it, but it's very, very solid. Yeah, it's pretty much it for the Cooper Carbine here in Vanguard, guys. It's a very solid AR. Uh, sorry if I get annoyed. Uh, you get ignored. Sorry, I'm just paranoid. I never thought how it feel for my life, uh Got situations that I'm fucking with